Okay, chapter 10, retiling. In topic 10, we will separate into two parts, part A and part B. Part A is about the markup and part B is about the markdown. First of all, first of all, what is mathematics of retiling? Retile math used to evaluate the inventory. Okay. Now you change your mind into a seller. Well, let's say you have a shop and then you want to sell something. So what is retile math used mean evaluate the inventory, purchasing plan, analyze sale, figure, add on markup. Okay, add on markup. Or you need to decrease a little bit the pricing, which is apply the markdown onto the stock. Okay. There are several keywords that you need to know. Okay. What is a ceiling price or retail price? Ceiling price is the price of merchandise being sold. Means that the ceiling price is the price you want to sell something. What is the cost? The cost is the price paid for merchandise, including net price, buying expense, transportation, and handling charge. What is the markup? Markup is an additional amount you added by seller to the cost price, and usually it covers the cost in care and profit. Okay, let's say in this case, you buy a clothes, okay? You buy a clothes from, let's say, Shopee, okay? Which is about 10 ringgit. The clothes price is 10 ringgit, okay? The clothes is cheaper, 10 ringgit. And then, you need to additional, which is the postage, which is 10 ringgit, 7 ringgit. And it's become RM 70 ringgit. This is the cost, okay? So... Let's say you say you want to get the profit, you want to gain something which is about RM3 ringgit. Okay, 3 ringgit. Okay, you buy something from the supplier 70 ringgit and you want to gain something which is 3 ringgit. So, how much you should sell the selling price? So, the selling price. Should be 17 from the cost plus 3 ringgit for your markup. Okay, you want to get the profit a little bit, which is 3 ringgit. So you sell about 20 ringgit. Okay, this is the concept. The cost is the original price plus the markup if you want to gain the profit or cross margin, and the selling price coming from these two. Okay. And operating expense, okay, this is some case when you do operating expense where your business is quite larger that you need to pay a wage, salary, rent, utility such as electricity, advertising, insurance, and the others. And the loss is the concept when you sell something, sell something which is it cannot cover the operating expense such as wage and salary that exceed the gross profit or markup okay means that when you sell something you get the profit but the profit cannot cover the cost for your salary or utility or rent so it's become loss a net profit is the profit it's coming from gross profit exit operating expense actually any gain from buying or selling a selling a action okay it's selling something Break even price. Let's say for this case, you first you want to sell that 200 ringgit, a uh, 20 ringgit. You remember before this, you want to sell a close with 20 ringgit, but you know that after you know that the cost is about RM10 70 ringgit. Okay, the cost is about 70 ringgit. Okay, RM70 ringgit. And you want to sell about 20 ringgit for the clothes. But after 10 years, let's say 10 years, nobody want to buy this clothes. So what you will do? 
you will decrease a little bit. Let's say you decrease about RM. Seven, seven, uh, eight RM, eight ringgit. Okay, RM, eight ringgit. So this call, the decrease about two ringgit. The decrease about RM two ringgit. is called the markdown okay they decrease about 20 ringgit to 8 ringgit is about called the markdown okay it's a discount that you calculate however the maximum markdown you can decrease until 3 ringgit which is rm17 okay this is the maximum markdown you can decrease about 70 ringgit from the price 20 ringgit okay Make sure what is the break even. Break even means that you doesn't gain the profit or a girl loss, which means that you buy something, let's say, like this, 70 ringgit, okay, which is the cost of clothes and also the postage 7 ringgit. 70 ringgit, you buy 70 ringgit and you sell 70 ringgit again, okay. You doesn't gain the loss, you doesn't gain the profit. We call that is break even price. Okay, let's say the markup. Markup is selling price plus minus cost price. You know that it's 17 ringgit for the cost. Before this, 17 ringgit for the cost. Okay, 17 ringgit for the cost. And you want to know how much markup your selling price. You sell about 20 ringgit. So you get that it's 3 ringgit. The markup you take is 3 ringgit. Okay, you know the cost is three seventy ringgit, and you sell twenty ringgit, so you minus you get the markup is three ringgit. Okay, the markup can be into two type based on the selling price or based on the cost price. If they are selling price, markup divided by selling price multiple which hundred. Okay, the symbol MSP markup selling price M divided by selling price but multiple which 100 or markup by cost price is markup divided by cost multiple which 100 okay let's say a retail brought a wallet that cost 30 ringgit and plan to sell it for 45 ringgit find the markup amount okay how much the markup cost 30 ringgit so sell 45 ringgit selling price minus cost equal to markup which is you know that selling price is 45 minus 30 you get that 15 so this is the markup okay and based on the 15 b percent markup based on selling price and the cost price okay d15 so you get the markup 15 based on selling price selling price 45 so 15 divided by 45 multiple 100, you get this percent. The percentage. Okay. The percentage for this one divided by cost price, which 10 ringgit, we become get 50%. Okay. This is how you want to get the percentage based on markup for selling price and the cost price. Example 2. If the cost price of anti table is 5,000, what is the selling price? If the seller want twenty percent markup based on the cost price, okay, how you want to find that? Okay, how much the selling price? So you will do like this one. The selling price and the cost price plus markup. You know that the cost is five ringgit, zero point two, from markup based on the cost price. So zero point two from the Cost price which is 5000, so you will get that after you calculate, you do calculate, you get the 60 ringgit, 6000. Okay, to find the cost price based on the market based of cost price means that 
your selling price. You want to know the selling price. Means that the cost plus markup, but your markup is based on cost price. So multiple which cost price. C plus M multiple which C. But if your selling price, markup based on selling price, so it will be selling price equal to cost plus markup based on selling price. For this case, I assume that selling price will be X. We don't know what is selling price. So, assume that it's become X. So, X equal to 5,000 plus 0 0.2 from the X. Okay? 0 0.2 from the selling price, which is X. So, you move this one to the left side, which is it's become X minus 0 0.2. X equal to 5,000. And then it's become 0 0.8x equal to 5,000. And you move this one to the left side. So it will be x equal to 5,000 divided by 0 0.8. And you get that the selling price is about RM 6,250. Okay. You can see the difference. If your markup based on the cost price, your selling price a little bit lower than the markup based on the ceiling price where the markup is a little bit higher for example 3 Suraya purchased a microwave oven for 255.5 and want to mark up 30% on the retail price what is the ceiling price be? ok means that what is retail price? retail price means that a ceiling price so, ceiling price equal to 2555, 255.55 plus 0 0.3, 30% 0 0.3 SP. Okay? Or you can assume then as X. So, let's say X equal to 255.5 plus 0 0.3 X. Just move this one to the left side. It becomes X minus 0 0.3 X equal to 255.5 and 0 0.7 equal to 0 0.7x equal to 255.55 and you know that x equal to 255.55 divided by 0 0.7 so you will get that ceiling price okay this one you get the ceiling price which is 367507 okay 0.7 move to the left side it become divide that it's become 36507 so that is the ceiling price easy correct so next is conversion of markup percent let's say your markup percent is mean that how many percentage you want for this case from the markup percent means that you want to change from the market percent based on retail price, okay, you want to find retail price for markup based on the markup based on the cost, okay. For this one, you want to define the cost price, but based on the markup of ceiling price. To get the markup of ceiling price based on the markup of cost, which is MC one plus MC, however, from Okay, for this case, it's about from the markup cost price, you want to change become markup selling price. For this case, it's markup selling price. You want to find that what is the percentage for markup cost price. Okay, the percentage changes from cost price become a ceiling price, from ceiling price to become cost price. This is the equation. If cost to find the SP plus. If SP ceiling price, which is higher, you want to find the cost, 1 minus. For example, what is the percent markup cost if the markup of ceiling price is 40%? Okay? The markup of ceiling price is 40 you want to find the markup of cost. So, markup of cost equal to... 0 0.43 divided by 1 minus 0 0.43. Okay, when you want to find that, 
the markup cost price from the ceiling price which is 0 0.43 43% which is 0 0.43 0 0.43 divided by 1 minus 0 0.43 it will become okay 75% 75.44% okay for this case what is the percent of markup of retail price if the markup of cost is 90% okay from markup of retail price you want to find this one okay from the cost which is m selling price equal to markup cost divided by 1 plus mc okay where you will get that 0 0.9 90% 0.9 1 plus 0 0.9 okay it's become like this one okay 0 0.9 1 plus 0 0.9 you get that 1 plus uh, 47.37 percent okay and of course when you calculate this one 0 0.9 0 0.9 divided by 1 plus 0 0.9 actually you get that 0 0.4737 percent but you need to change into percentage 0 0.4737 change into percentage multiple which 100 and you get that 47.37 percent okay you can do the exercise in here